Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for true happiness. That's why we meditate. We want happiness that's better than the standard garden variety. A happiness that doesn't change, a happiness that doesn't turn on us. And for that we have to look inside. That's why we meditate. Look at your mind now. Look at your breath. The breath is your anchor in the present moment. Because when you're with the breath, you know you're in the present. You think there's no future breath you can watch and there's no past breath you can watch. You've got to stay right here in the present. And of course your mind is going to immediately think about other things to think about. But you don't have to follow the thoughts. Just let them wander away. But you stay right here with the sensation of the breathing. You can think of your mind as being like a committee. And a couple committee members are with the meditation. There are quite a few that have no interest at all. But you don't have to pay them any mind right now. You're strengthening the committee members who do want to be trained. Because this is the essence of how we find true happiness, and the mind has to be trained. Because you may have noticed, some people can live in miserable situations and yet they're happy. Other people can live in really pleasant situations. They seem to have everything in it. They're, they don't have enough. There's got to be more. So the issue is not with your situation outside. The issue is with the mind. And fortunately, the mind can be trained. So you keep bringing it back, bringing it back. It's like training an animal. You have to be firm but gentle. You have to give encouragement at the same time that you're firm. But it's important that you develop this ability to stay right here with the breath. And one way of making it pleasant is to make the breath pleasant. Ask yourself, what kind of breathing does the body need right now? Sometimes it needs long breathing, sometimes it needs shorter. Or in long and out short, or in short, out long. Heavy or light. Fast, slow. All kinds of breathing that you can try. And that gives you something to do in the present moment rather than just sitting with the breath. You're exploring the breath. You're experimenting with the breath. And that's an important process, because this element of experimentation in the meditation, we're not here just trying to clone awakening. We're trying to explore what is it the mind is doing. Because the best way to figure out what it's doing is to give it something else to do. And if it goes back to its old habits, you see, oh, these are its, its old habits. And they strike you as strange. They strike you as out of place now. And that's an important lesson. Instead of just saying, well, this is the way every human mind has to be, overcome by greed and aversion and delusion, you begin to realize you can step away from that. You don't have to give in to the power of those things. And that right there allows you a little bit of space, a little bit of room to further explore the possibility. What would a true happiness be like? Well, this is how it's found, by training the mind so that it doesn't give in to every mood that comes its way. So keep this in mind. You want the mind to be solid. You want the mind to be secure. So in the very beginning, you make it solid right here with the breath. As with training any animal, the mind is going to be struggling against the training for a while. But after a while, it realizes, it starts digging down around here, around the breath, you find there's gold. There's a lot of good things in the mind that you don't see immediately. But the longer you stay here, the more they will appear. So always have that confidence in mind. Okay, there's something really good here. I'm not seeing it yet. But if you stay here steadily and long enough, it's going to appear. 